Hi and welcome back to uh, Review of the Week. Well, this week's been a busy, busy, busy week, but I managed to finish this uh, portrait off of my Jack Russell uh, dog, Jack. Uh, so it was a good test to see uh, how you put things together with pastels, charcoal and pencils. So I managed to finish that off, so you can see that there. But it's been a week and a half this week. I managed, or was very fortunate enough to be invited to an organisation called Onside Youth Zones and did a bit of filming there with a mate of mine, the Toffee Man, who did the stills at the event. And it was their President's Cup. So they have all these youth clubs and youth zones coming from all over the country to compete for this President's Cup. What a day that was. So I went up there with a film camera to do a bit of filming for them. And uh, you get in there, and you, I don't know whether you remember, but years ago when you used to go to youth clubs, they were kind of in church halls and all the rest of it. These things are outstanding, absolutely astonishing, these places, because you've got these uh, big, uh, well, just big sports halls with climbing walls. In fact, the Toffee Man was up the, up the climbing wall like a rat up a, up a drain pipe. It was phenomenal. And the idea was that we're bringing kids from all over their youth zones. They've got about six or seven on, on the go at the moment, want to build 20. It's run by a couple of, um, or the concept came together from a couple of multimillionaires, a guy called Norman Stoller, hails out of uh, Oldham, lives up in the Lake District, and a guy called Bill Holroyd, who's uh, based here in Cheshire. So they've got them in, let's have a look, where have they got them in? They've got these youth zone centres in Bolton, Manchester, Oldham, Blackburn, Carline, and we were at the Wigan operation and they're also looking to build one in London, so the guys from London came up. But what an incredible day it was, what an incredible event. You know, initially we got there and you'd, we just went for a walk around. What they've got, they've got archery, they've got football fields, they've got hockey fields, they've got boxing rings, they've got a full-size gym, they've got a great um, hall where you can play basketball, netball, rock climbing, trampolining. Well, you name it, you can do art, which was one of the reasons why I went. They can do drama, they can do dance. I mean, these things are state-of-the-art stuff. And you know what? What the rub is, I wrote about it on the blog, but the rub is it's 50p a day for these kids to go because they're built in inner-city areas where kids haven't got much money. Uh, and it's just somewhere for them to go which is safe and warm and it, it's just amazing how everybody uh, integrates because it doesn't matter what colour you are whether you're black, white, green, yellow, pfft, who cares whether you're able, disabled, nobody cares uh, whether you've got Down syndrome or you've just got learning difficulties everybody integrates and it was great just to see it when we got there originally there was a smell of food cooking they got full kitchens there where they served the kids a, a meal so there was bacon sizzling in the pan sausages going, oh, you name it the ambience was great it took us for a quick tour around just to get our bearings in there which was superb and then the kids started to arrive and as they started to arrive it filled up and there was 340 young people in this place the cacophony of noise was outstanding uh, and the music was playing it was bouncing around and we're out there filming and toffee man's doing his stills and i'm doing the filming and we're getting in with it and there was loads of these kids who were doing these dance-offs and it was great just they were impromptu dance-offs and the it was, you know, they all had the caps on. I've got a cap, I was going to wear a cap, throw a few shapes, you know what I mean? But I thought, never mind, better not do that. I think your granddad's doing it. Uh, but it was just a great experience. So we've been doing all that, ended up with about 12 hours of footage. So I've spent most of the week trawling through the footage, trying to put them together. A minute video that they could put on YouTube or whatever. And then we're putting together a proper seven minute session for them uh, so that they can do a voiceover of it and use it as a bit of a promotional video. So that's been my week. It's been creative to the edge. We've had bags of fun, uh, it's been, been an absolute right. And I managed to finish this off late last night, um, probably around about half past nine. Uh, got this finished off as uh, one of the first tests with uh, pastels on an animal portrait. And the guy who wants the portrait doing of uh, his dog has sent me a photograph of it when it was a puppy, which is dead cute. So I'll try that in the next week or so and give you an update on that as well. And then uh, this week coming, uh, obviously the last week we did, I also managed to put together some reviews of some great artists. So I hope you listen to that McKinsey Art Review. And next week we've got a few more artists coming and then the week after we're going to cover a couple of photographers. Toffee Man's going to be one of them. Uh, you're not met him yet but you'll probably, uh, probably meet him on some of these uh, some of these vlogs that we're doing. Uh, and, um, and we'll broadcast that as well. So thanks very much for listening. Uh, it's been a hectic week. Uh, thanks for watching and, um, and thanks for all your support. It's been really good.